things are hotting up in the legacy SMP, but what are we going to get on with today? Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Legacy SMP server. We are outside my peasant's cottage in the medieval zone, uh, which, yeah, I mean, compared with some of the builds around here, it is a very definitely a peasant's cottage, but that's all right. But we've got quite a lot of things to do. I want to get myself over to the jungle zone and do a bit of work over there today. But we've got some things I want to do before then. So first off, I want to shoot a warning across to any wandering trader that might be around here thinking that he's going to swap out one lot of dye for 47 emeralds and a diamond. You've got another thing coming because, yes, it does not pay to con the Avamants. Your brother is here, and if you come along, you're next. I've also got a bit of an idea for a prank. I don't know what you think about this, but I think it could be fun. If I open these six and then shift-click carpet on top of it, I've not tested this yet, this might not work, and do that and then walk over it do i fall through oh no that's rubbish i'm gonna have to find a better way of doing that then because that's not fair i thought that was going to be a genius prank but in reality it was rubbish i'm going to find somewhere else everybody else is pranking everybody and i'm just too nice and i think we need to stop that i need to stop being so nice we're going to do stuff i don't know what maybe put a, a horde of creepers inside someone else i don't know anyway i'm going to get rid of the carpet then because that's not going to do any good is it oh i should have tested that before I look like some Muppet doing it. Right, never mind. Anyway, I'm going to get myself over to... Uh, I just want to show you something. In the, I don't know if you've seen it. Well, you probably have seen it because a million people have already, sh already shown it. But I'm going to show you something in the middle. And this is what I wanted to show you. The shrine to our victory against the dragon. Oh, yeah, it just looks fabulous. But there's, there's a little bit of a problem. I need to sort this out. Now that, I think looks much better and is infinitely more accurate as well. Definitely. Let's get ourselves over to Fwip's place that he's just knocked out. And I want to show you it because it's proper cool. I'm not going to be able to use it just yet, I don't think, because, uh, I, I, well, frankly, I don't know what I need and what's there. I might be able to use it. You never know. But if I come along this way, I'll see you when I'm over there. I think this is right. I think this is the place that he suggested it would be. So let's come in here and see what we've got waiting for us. So in here, we should have a load of villagers. Yeah, we have, so that's the that's his farm, which is cool. I love this farm design, it is very nice. But in here, we have got a number of villagers. So we've got Book Boy with Power One, Depth Strider, Fortune Three, Sharp Four, Efficiency Three, all of this types of stuff. And I just want, ooh, Infinity. Mmm, that's quite nice. What's what should what should charge for infinity? Seven emeralds and a book. Right, let's just have a bit more of a shop around. Farmer boy. Yeah, I don't want farmer boy. I want book boys. Aqua affinity, projectile protection, mending, protection, silk touch, looting three and mending. Ooh, that's also really really tempting. Looting three. Twenty six diamonds. 26 diamonds for looting three. You've got to be joking, mate. Right, so come over here. I am going to come around here and I'm going to use... Um, what one was I going to go for? Infinity. There you are, mate. Right, so seven emeralds. I did bring some emeralds just in case. Seven emeralds and a book should give me an infinity book. I'm happy with that. That is a good trade. Thank you very much. Also... Have we got an anvil in here so I can bind these up? That'll be quite handy. No? No? Oh, there is an anvil as well. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to do this. So put my infinity book there. Put my power bow there. And it's now official. I can make this a twangy bow, I reckon. So twangy bow, power two, unbreaking three, and infinity. It's now a very nice bow. Thank you very much. Only four left. I've not broken that, thank goodness. And here... Tip jar. There you go. Tip jar. I was going to give you a tip to not eat yellow slow, but that would be really unpleasant um, and mean. Right, so that's that. Now, I'm going to walk over to the shopping district because I fancy having a poke around there as well. So, we're coming over to the shopping district, and so I'm going to have a little bit of a mooch around in here, I think, because we've got some stuff coming along that looks really cool. So, this is Sausage's Place here is Aquarium Shop. Anything to do with 
kind of aqua watery type things we're going to look at the other shops as well but what we got here i just i need to look i need to go inside what's he called it the sausages aquarium so we've got sea pickles kelp or oh, one stack of fish per purchase for free very nice very nice uh, I might have to have some sea pickles actually. How many sea pickles for a diamond? I might nick some of those. Well, not nick. I will actually buy them. Coral blocks. That's nice. Um, sea pickles. 32 for how much? One diamond. That's a bargain, mate. I'm having that. Lovely job. 32 sea pickles. Very nice. What have I got over here? Uh, coral block. 32 for one diamond. Now, what the clever man would do right here is take a coral block buy it with a diamond and then grow his own sea pickles that would make perfect sense to me would it not you sea pickles there right i love that shop that's nice spent two diamonds that's away what we got over here let's have a look so here that's the atm <laughs> i love the fact we've got an atm sticky business by vigo so slime blocks and slime balls uh oh see it's, i've not got any slime that's quite interesting but i've only got seven diamonds so i can't buy a slime block I can, however, buy a stack of slime balls. So let's have one of those for one diamond. That's useful. I'm just spending willy-nilly here now, aren't I? So that's going to be Pearl's Mushroom Shop, which is really cool. That's nice. Um, we've got another ATM there coming this way. Inside, this is Sausage's Storage Shop. This is quite fun. So we've got anything you want. At all. five diamonds for a shell cut. Hmm. This is where I wish I had more diamonds, isn't it? Uh, I might have to come back to that sausage. I'll tell you what, because you can never have too many shulkers, can you? That's true. This is the banners shop over there by uh, Slice Lime. I don't know what that is. Golden Carrot Shop? Is that what that is? I don't know. Two stacks for three diamonds of golden carrots. That's worth knowing. Not going to do that right now, but I'll certainly come back and do some of that as well. Over here. I don't know what's inside here. String. Ooh. Now, I really needed some string the other day. Um, I'm genuinely tempted by this. I'm going to have one of those because string is something that I could do with. I don't know how shot that is, actually. But we've got... Uh, it's a wool emporium. So all the different colours of the wool, which is... Um, let's just come up. Let's have a look. Come on. This is Scott's place. Dang, that's a long bridge by Dang, that's a long name. So one diamond or 32 iron. Scott obviously needing a little bit of iron there. Nice. Very good. Like that very much. Looks like needs a Nyan cat jumping over that, doesn't it? And we've got over here, this is Sean's place. So let's cut. I can't get over. Let's place. Come on. Come on. What? I don't even know what Sean's selling there. I've not, I've not been in this one. Go over to Sean's shop. I need to bring. I need to start selling stuff. I have to mine for all of my diamonds, and it's laborious to say the least. So let's come up here. What was iron? <gasps> oh, now genuinely, genuinely, this could be worthwhile. You know, mm. I'm going to take two stacks of iron for two diamonds because actually, whilst I've got iron. You can never have too much, can you? That's brill. Right, so now what I can do is I can go across. What's this? What's this? Gemini Tay's ice shop. You're already starting to stock up, Gem, as well. Packed ice for a diamond for 32 blocks. Ooh, I'm going to have two lots of packed ice for 32 blocks. Thank you very much. That's a bargain, that. Uh, should I also take some normal ice? I'm going to take some normal ice as well. There you go. I've, I've run out of diamonds, but I've bought a load of stuff, which is brilliant. So now I've got to get myself over to this direction, lost my bearings, and get myself over to the jungle. And here we are at the site of where I'm going to start the greatest jungle project of all time in the last 10 minutes. I need to do a little bit of work before I can start, though, because... I was going to do something from this mountain here, but I don't think it's going to work if I do that. So I'm going to do it down from the bottom there, which means I need to clear out a little bit of room before I ascend into the canopy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin myself around. And I've got my elytra on so I can fly down. And I'm going to come up here. Now, the problem is 
I was going to go up into the Never. So I brought a load of stuff for the Never to try and get things like blaze rods, like snowballs and things like that. But I ended up, well, basically it didn't work. I couldn't get myself into the Never well enough. So I brought a shulker box or seven here to put some of this utter rubbish in to take back across the other side because I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these bits in here. Um, that's okay. And I'm just going to get myself ready. Guess what I found in my junk box whilst I was going through it and I completely forgot I had it. Five bits of gunpowder. You know what five bits of gunpowder means when you combine it with five bits of paper. It means 15 rockets, which means I at least can shoot myself around the server for about 10 minutes, the amount of time that I actually waste them. But that's amazing. I'm going to keep hold of those. Thank you very much. And I'm going to carry on sorting. So I think I'm sorted out. I've got stuff inside that shulker box. I've got a little bit inside this shulker box. I've made some shears and I've made my rockets and I'm also cooking up that mutton that I had because I don't know if this chicken is going to last me. But what I want to do, I want to get a little bit of a clearing, but I don't want to waste it, which is why I've made the shears. So I'm going to get myself, you know, things like a, a few of these. There we go. Just just to just to get myself some extra stock of the green stuff. Otherwise, if I just knock it off, it's just going to be wasted. So I might as well use it, right? So I'm just going to crack on, get myself a little bit of space going. And once I've done that, we'll be able to do some... Um, there we go, there we go. This is what we're all about. We'll be able to do some building because building really is what it's all about, right? So we've started to make ourselves a little bit of room. I think that's going to be enough for us to start to bring ourselves up into that canopy. So I'm just going to come down, swoop, and oh, almost crashed there. I really hurt myself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, I think, kind of here. Where's my shovel? That sort of area with, I want oak, I think. Where's my oak? Logs. Oh, I had oak logs in there already. With some oak. No, that's jungle. Where's oak? There's oak with oak. And we're going to start to build ourselves up a bit of an entranceway. But I want it wider than that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out. We're just going to terraform this bit out a little bit because there's not going to be enough width there. And you definitely need enough width. So let's bring this out. That's better. Right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to pop that there we're going to go one two three four five six seven and that there so we've got a seven wide start i then want to uh not the chest i want to do this in oak but kind of intersperse it a little bit so if i get my oak here no before i do that 
I am definitely going to need to get rid of some of these bushes and bits and pieces. I've got quite a lot of stuff as a result of using up, what, eight shears, I think, in the end. Turn those into those. Why am I doing it like this? That is the most ridiculous way of doing it ever. Those into those. And then what we can start to do is we can start to build up a set of steps that go up two, three, four, five, six, seven, that go up like that. Um, I might actually, where's my dirt gone? Oh, I've got the two dirts there, that'll do. So if I put that dirt there and fill that dirt in there, that that's okay, isn't it? I think I'm okay with that. So what I wanna do is I wanna get it up ever so slightly higher than, in fact, I'll use the chest now. I don't need to, I'll just go on the floor to go there. And then if we start to wind it up round by coming up one like that, get rid of that and pop that like that, which means we've got thing one, two, thing, which is what I want, chest, oak, log, that like that. And that's gonna come out to there and then that's going to be like that. How's that? So we're starting to curve this round. I'll work out how to make that look kind of less rubbish once we're there. So let's just crack on, just build up this gradually. oak bridge running onto a platform later and we have got that and it kind of sweeps down sweeping this way and goes up to that first level which is sort of the entrance level not quite sure how we're going to take it from here because we've got this mountainy type hill though so i think i need to go forwards i have however very nearly run out of oak wood which is a little bit embarrassing when you think about it because I just chopped down a load of oak wood. So if I'm just gonna keep coming up here, that needs to go up like that. And I can't, can I do I could do it there, I suppose. So if I pop that there, put that down, one, two, and three, I need to find myself a little bit more oak. Don't know what I'm doing under the thing here. Oh, ocelot, ocelot, hello, mate. Oi, 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 come here, come here, don't run away. Of course he's gonna run away. Ocelots are just, I was gonna say also lots of pussies. It's actually a true statement, but I need to get myself some more oak to be able to do this. And I need to sort out the sides here cause that's not right. I might actually oak every single level rather than have the gaps. I think that's gonna be better. So I need to go and get some more oak, which is only over there-ish. And hopefully we'll be able to at least get ourselves a little bit nearly done. In the meantime, I'm going to use some of these rockets to fly myself back to my base because Gemini Tay has just sold me some rockets, two whole stacks of them, no less, which I'm going to be able to stock myself up on and be able to go backwards and forwards a lot more quickly because I, well, there were just too few rockets in my arsenal, far too few, and I want to be able to have plenty to be able to fly around a little bit more. I do love flying. 
Gemini Tay. Goodness loves you, madam. Thank you very much. I'm so excited now. I've got those rockets and a little bit less diamonds in the bar to barrel. So I'd best pop just a few more in there. Four should be plenty. Keep it stocked up to a dozen diamonds in the bar to barrel. And then it makes it a lot easier for us to do business. Right. So what I'm going to do now. Now, I don't want to take all of my rockets out because if I die and lose them, I will be so good. <gasps> did I have 18 rockets in there? When did I have those? Oh, what? Right, so if I put half of those in there and half of those in there, like flight duration two versus flight duration one. Oh, I got special rockets. I'm just going to pop that there because we don't need that. Right, I'm going to go and chop some wood. So I decided as a bit of a break, I'm going to go on a bit of a nether raid. So I went back to my base and put a load of stuff away because there was just too much stuff there. I built this portal here. This portal is directly opposite the jetty that I have built for my base and starts off where the jungle place is. But this is how we get down into the actual nether. Now I've got some ideas for my shop and I'm going to need to come into the nether to get this stuff done. And I've not actually come into the nether very often i've got the necessary kind of awards etc oh hello mate how you doing don't no don't look at me like that don't look at me you know you're going to be dis like 116 comes you're gone buddy so don't look at me like that right so coming through here i want to go to well i want to get a few different stuffs for the nether but primarily i want to go to the fortress which is here okay nether fortress which is down this way um which way down this way is it this way I think it's this way. Oh, yes, it is. I want to come down here because I basically I want to get some things like blaze rods, etc. So I'm just going to ready my twangy bow. Are we safe at the moment? Yes, we are. Sometimes you get wither skeletons in here, unsurprisingly. But I want to get basically nether supplies, let's call them. And I've got to be really careful because I don't want to have a go at any pigmen that are next to these places come here come to me come to me rather than the other way around there you go that's what don't you ever go at me that's not what we're after i just want to kill you oh that's what i want that's what i want i want your spawny spawn oh two that'll work i've not even got looting on this sword i need to get looting for goodness sake what am i on come on die three whoa -ho! that's without looting that's not too shabby the thing about these magma cubes is unlike their slime counterparts, they do hurt you when they hit you on the little side. I'm not frightened of the blaze. I'll tell you why I'm not frightened of the blaze. Because my trousers, fire protection, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just shoot them a lot. Ow, see, look, fire protection, it burns me and then it goes, nah, you're alright, don't matter. There you go, that's one. He dropped a blaze rod. He didn't drop a blaze rod. I'm just going to hold my shovel because... The XP will maybe start to fix up my shovel as well. Because I put mending on the shovel. I'm going to come this way. Uh, is it this way? Yeah, it's here. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Look, there it is. Right, so we can go. Boom. We can shoot you. Shoot you in the face, blaze boy. There we go. Right, so I'm going to do some, basically, some never collection. And uh, hope. Oh, there's another blaze rod. That was handy. And hopefully, this will give me sufficient provision for me to do what I want to do in the... Whoa! They all come at once, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm on fire, but I don't care. Right, Alan, please don't die. Please don't die. And please don't break the spawner, because that'd be about right, wouldn't it? And you, and your mates. Go on, give me a blaze head. No, still not got a blaze head. I'm having you as well, then. Come on, then. Yeah, yeah, go on. I'm not frightened of you because of my trousers. You can go up. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so rubbish in the never. Look what I'm about to pick up, it's a skeleton's head. Right, give it to me. Spooky scary, oh come on, that's the first one. That's the first one. I need loads of these things. <laughs> and they're just such a rare drop, what a nightmare. So we are back at the jungle place and you can see I've just done a little bit more work here. If I, can I jump off there? Safely, yep, yeah, into the water. I've not got my elytra on at the moment. So coming on to the jetty, I need to do something more. This is a little bit too kind of flat finished. I'm not entirely sure what. But we come up here, the sweeping doodad. All of this is sort of falling down and that's how it's meant to be. Um, we've got, looking out here, we've got all kinds of kind of support beams holding things up. Those vines are going to grow down, those support beams. 
to make them look just a little bit less spindly because at the minute they're quite thin but the way up this is just this is just where i was building stuff it's not how it's going to be i'm coming up this way so this is the way you ascend to the first platform and it's it's a little dull yeah i know look i've not actually had much chance to put anything on it for goodness sake but this is how we're going to look so we've got this kind of little circle here we've got this larger circle here we've got and what will be a suspension bridge coming up to this circle here and I may or may not put one or two more circles I may put another circle going out that way and join those two circles not sure at the moment but I don't want to take up too much space because this is meant to be the jungle treehouse village for the whole community and I don't want to just obviously use up the whole jungle myself but I think all in all it worked out all right I'm quite pleased with the way it started and on that note I'm just gonna have some chicken there we go. And on that note, I feel I'm going to call it loads done in that episode. Got quite a lot planned for the next one as well. So quite excited about that. Don't miss that. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.